and welcome to the sixth episode of Super Chats with me, your host, Valeria. First off, we're going to start off with the introductions of the girls. So, Wales, go ahead. Hi, my name is Emily Ryan. I'm Miss Supranational Wales 2019. I'm a pension schemes administrator and I run my own fashion website. Hello everyone, my name is Olena Lashuk and I'm representing Ukraine at Miss Supranational 2019. I'm a marketolog, I'm studying master's degree, I get a master's degree from marketing and now I work like SMM manager and model. Hello everyone, I'm Shanita Omunyana representing Granda and I pursue cabin crew at my university. Hello everyone, I'm Amy Che, Miss Super National Myanmar 2019 and I'm working as the TV host of Travelodge program that is broadcasting on Myanmar radios and television, MRTV and Music Mar TV channel. I'm also working as a pageant coach and choreographer um, and, and I'm also a secretary of my main organization. Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Fitriana Martasari and I'm from Indonesia. I'm currently working as an entrepreneur in furniture industry, and I'm also a volunteer for children who are infected with HIV AIDS disease. Hello everyone, my name is Tanzia Zaman Mithila. I'm Miss Supranational 2019, I'm from Bangladesh, and I'm working as a model and as an actress. Nice, so we're gonna start off with the topic, what inspires you? or what motivates you. In my case, I don't really like let anyone else motivate me. I motivate myself. If I want to strive for something, I have a goal or something, I just work myself through it. But there's people that sometimes say that their families are their motivation, that their brother, that their grandma. Um, so I want to know what motivates you girls? Who wants to start off? Can I start? Of course. <laughs> Go ahead. I, Take the floor. <laughs> I agree with you. Everyone can motivate yourself, but I think for me, motivation it's like my my dream. If I think about something all the time, I think, oh my God, I need this, and I step by step go to this to this dream, and uh, I want to make this like my part of my life. It's my motivation. <laughs> Exactly, dream, yeah. yeah. So you kind of share my, my idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first is dream. I think the second is people around me. Because if you have a lot of friends that uh, to get their dreams, you say, oh my God, you look beautiful. And I want to, to be part, to be like you, mm -hmm. to be maybe uh, more good than you now. And I think it. I agree, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Oh well, I also believe that when you follow, like when you feel like you need a motivation, you should be motivated by yourself. Because I believe that we women have inner womanly strength and values. So when you follow your inner womanly strength and values, you can set out and dream big and let it go and shine out brighter. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, what motivates me is. My, so my mum and dad met very young and they went through everything to get what they have now. My, when I was a little girl, I didn't even see my dad. He was working every job. <laughs> so what motivates me is to see that you, two people that are very close to me came from absolutely nothing to be exactly where they want to be in life. And that's what I want to do. I, you know, I'm privileged that they worked hard to give me a great life but I want to be as successful as they are and then be able to you know have a family who looks up to me like that as well so you that see that keeps me motivated. there's different people different motivations and stuff yeah. like that so that's what I meant like for me and me <laughs> but for her is her family and to yeah. strive to be like them so mm. nice interesting <laughs> who else and for me I have two things that motivated me the first one is myself, and the second one is the children that I'm taking care of in AIDS commissions. So for me, I'm, I believe that I'm a dreamer because since I was a kid, I always dreamed to be a princess and have my own crown. But then my journey wasn't like easy. It was very hard. The first time I joined 
the pageant, I didn't make it. And then I tried to join again the next year and I'm grateful that I made it to be on top three. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and I'm grateful for who I am today. But during my journey, during my reign as Putri Indonesia Barusata 2019 in my country, I learned that to be a princess is not always just about wearing crown and everything, but I believe a princess is someone who can bring good impacts to others and beautiful inside and out. And then I finally found the meaning of it that to be a queen or to be a person, it should be like to be a person of heart, to be a person of love and to be a person of respect. And I think that's what makes me the queens of people's heart. And the second one is that the children that I'm taking, taking care of. Because since two years ago, I already volunteered myself in AIDS Commission in my hometown. I believe that these children should have like a bright future because they're born without any mistake and they're just having that disease. Mm -hmm. So I really want to help them. I want to break the stigma if I had my platform right now. I want them to have a bright future. I want them to have a good life. That's why right now I'm trying to establish my own foundation for them so that I can help them in education, in healthcare, and I wish that I can break the stigma that's happening to them. Mm, that's nice. So pretty much you work with your organization and that the kids that you work for, they motivate you to be better. Yeah. Nice. That's right. What about you, Bangladesh? As this competition, uh, is representing uh, your country, so I'll speak uh, Bangla. Go ahead. For our people. Life theke abhi je motivation peyechi. Ami khubi choto ekta country theke dhakate ashchi, our capital city. Uh, it's been six years I do modeling. So ei chhoy bochore ami onik koshto korechi, onik shopno dekhechi, onik ei jonnoi aaj ekhane eshechi. Supranational ke onik onik dhunno bad, ato bora ekta competition hai, amader ke jaiga kora daor jonno. I'm really appreciate it. Nice. By the way, I just wanted to know, do you can feel comfortable speaking your own language with ever of you uh, girls? Yeah, I'm comfortable. You're not the first one in the episode, <laughs> yeah. so you're fine. <laughs> I'm 100% comfortable, thank you. Perfect. So, and you, Myanmar? Yes, I got so many inspiration uh, from the book, uh, especially the story of a local writer. Mm -hmm. um, in this, in his story, um, the character is uh, at the start of the story. The character is always zero, and after the story, uh, the story is over. Uh, the character become a hero. Uh, that's why zero to hero this journey is the uh, inspiration for me because um, my family is. Um, selling Myanmar traditional snack mm -hmm. at the corner of the street with only one table and umbrella. And, and when I was free, and I'm always help my mother at the platform. I'm still uh, selling <laughs> Myanmar traditional snack. So you guys, if you come to Myanmar, we can have traditional <laughs> snacks yeah. from the shop. Okay. <laughs> yes, a lot of Myanmar traditional snacks are selling at my shop. Um, at the first of my journey to be a beauty queen, um, I'm always shy with my family situation because uh, I have no money and I have no uh, branded thing. That's why they, uh, they may be so um, um, many girls uh, don't want me to be a friend. I'm so worried and I'm so shy. But after that, I realized that um, the what's it called prevention. Um, pre pre prejudice. No, uh, pretend, 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 uh, yes, yeah, pretend, pretend, yes. yeah, 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 pretend. A pretension is the worst thing that that can pull me down to the dark. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, this uh, celebrity life is very easy to. Just think. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, but I get it. Like, there's no point in pretending, and you can just be who you are. Yes. And there's no shame in it. Yes, that's why I'm. Um, after I realized that the, the pretension is the worst thing which can pull me down to the dark, and 
after that I can proud of be myself and I only concentrate on my dream and uh, on my goals and as you know there's nothing important how we was born uh, the most important thing is how we are doing and how we are doing how you get better and yeah how we get better and how we gonna leave something for our next generation as a legacy <laughs> nice so your motivation basically is your background and how to be better yes yeah. i love that so as you can see all of the girls have different motivations inspirations and they come from different backgrounds as well but now we're gonna hear them answering the questions you our super fans ask but before, we're gonna have a look at what the winner of Mr. Supernational 2019 will get. And this is a base in Bangkok, Thailand. So let's have a look. So we're back. Now the girls are going to answer the questions asked by you, our super fans. Let's start off with Miss Indonesia. Okay. <laughs> Your question is, bullying is a hot topic. Have you ever been bullied before? Okay. Yeah, I've been bullied before when I was in senior high school. So at that time, I was so fat. And like everyone knows that I really wanted to be a beauty queen someday and they are like said oh fat girl you are eating a lot like okay and then like after that but I didn't get sad I turned that as a motivation for me to do more and to be a better person then after that I keep my lifestyle to be in a healthy life mm -hmm. I went to the gym I ate healthy food and everything until now I finally reached my dream and for me, bullying is something bad for people saying bad things to others because they don't know how the person will feel. Mm -hmm. But I believe that when someone bullying you, you just have to come up with your motivations. And after that, you have to reach your dreams because the only person that can make it happen is only you. And I believe there will always hope for everybody who believes in their dreams. I agree. Yeah. I didn't know you were um, shamed by body. Yeah. Her. I was so fat at the time. <laughs> and then like, yeah, everybody said like, you're ugly and everything. But then, yeah. No, I, I, am, I don't believe you. And you look amazing and still you look no, healthy. You and can that's check. the important thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've shared my uh, story about it on my IG. Maybe you can take a look later. I'll, I'll have a look later, for yeah. sure. But I'm still bullying, <laughs> cyberbullying a lot. I'm facing a lot yeah. in my country, cyberbullying. Yeah, I it happens it. a lot. And, yeah. and even more yes. when now nowadays that you have Instagram and yeah, social that's media, right. that yeah. people create these fake profiles just to like yeah. enter and comment. They, even they just read it and forget it. Sometimes they even have time to make two, three fake profiles just to attack yeah, you. Is that crazy? Right. So it's happening to me all the time, and then like to decide a woman. <laughs> Honestly, the, that doesn't exist appearance. for me. Yeah, <laughs> body yes. shaming the yeah. faces. Yeah, it would always go on, sadly. Yes. yes. But let's go, let's go to the next question, and this is by Lisa Beta. Lisa Beta has done a lot of questions for all the episodes. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> um, so okay. your question is, for what? Me? Yeah, Myanmar. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I, yeah, I didn't <laughs> say <it> for Myanmar. <laughs> um, so your question is, what is a recent accomplishment you are very proud of? 
Yes, um, the accomplishment. I'm very proud of it uh, for being a TV host for the Travelers program. This is my current uh, career um, because I was chosen as a TV host for this Travelers program uh, four years ago, and I'm working four years. Um, at the time, my advocacy is to promote uh, the eco um, gender equality. Not generally. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, my work is, is to promote the tourism sector uh -huh. of the countries um, of my country. Um, at the time, I was chosen. Oh, I'm very excited and very happy because. I do this advocacy uh, because I do believe that the tourism is one of the most important sources for, for income. country to survive, yeah. yeah? Yes, and I also want to uh, make a chance, uh, people get a chance uh, to touch the world. Uh, because the local people can touch the world mm -hmm. uh, through this tourism center. Mm -hmm. And I also want to see and feel the uh, nature and I want to touch, love the cultures and traditions. <laughs> I love yes. it. And of course, you have yeah. to promote the Golden Land. That's what you guys called it, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's why. <laughs> of course, you have to. So interesting. Yes. Very interesting. So now we have a question for Wales, and it's from the same person. As you can see, she made the best uh, questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So your question is if someone had to walk a mile in your shoes, what would that look like? Thank you for your question. Um, first of all, you'd have to be very good at walking in high heels because <laughs> I wear them day in and day out. Um, that must mean that feet will hurt. Yeah. <laughs> um, if someone had to walk a mile in my shoes, they would probably have, they would have to learn, well, what I had to learn. Growing, when I was younger, I did not try hard at anything at school. Um, the only thing I liked was dancing and nothing else. So I didn't try at all. I didn't do very well. And when, you know, I really wanted to go to college to dance. And when I found I had not actually attained the grades to do so, um, that was a, a slap in the face. Mm -hmm. And that's what made me realize that actually you have to work really, really hard at everything you want to do so if someone was to have had the same experience that I had then hopefully it would make them see that whatever it is you want to do in life you have to put everything into it um, it's the same with pageants it's the same with any career that you want to go down yeah that's that's what they would see and learn is I love that you, you have, have to work, to work hard, hard. Yeah. and I'll openly admit that work I, hard to play hard I was not <laughs> a very well behaved child so I learned the hard way but I'm here now so that's what life's about about lear learning about your past experiences and getting the best out of them to be a better person in the tomorrow yeah so hmm, that's nice anyways before we head on to the other three girls we are gonna have a look at what the winner will also get. Just if you didn't know, the winner will have a chance to stay in a hotel in Krabi in Thailand. So let's have a look at that too.
back. And now we have three girls left that haven't answered the super fan questions. We're gonna start off with Bangladesh. Your question is, what are some small ways to make a big impact? Thank you for the beautiful question. আমার কাছে যেটা মনে হয় মানুষকে যদি আমি অনেক ভালোবাসি মানুষকে যদি আমি জেনুইনলি অনেক পছন্দ করি এফোর্ট দেই এবং একটা পর্যায়ে গিয়ে যদি তারা বুঝতে পারে অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমি তাদের কেয়ার করি অনেক ভালোবাসি তো আমার কাছে মনে হয় কাজ মানুষের কখন বিপদ হয় কখন কাকে কার কাছ থেকে মানুষের কি লাইফে কাকে কখন প্রয়োজন হয় এটা আসলে কেউ বলতে পারে না তো আমার কাছে যেটা মনে হয় যে মানুষকে অনেক ভালোবাসলে মানুষের সঙ্গে অনেক বেশি নাইস থাকলে আমার মনে হয় এটা ফর ফিউচার অনেক বড় কিছু পাওয়া যায় থ্যাংক ইউ ফর ইউর অ্যান্সার দ্য নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ ফর রুয়ান্ডা সো ইউর কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ হোয়াট আর দ্য অ্যাট্রিবিউটস অফ এ স্ট্রং ওমেন টু ইউ এন্ড হু রেসেম্বলস দিস অ্যাট্রিবিউটস ইন ইউর লাইফ থ্যাংক ইউ The attributes of a strong woman is uh, the woman that has love, kindness, uh, generosity, determination, optimistic and also those outgoing, there is also hard working and the woman that has, uh, how can I say it, uh, like who dreams big and put the dreams into who action. Who strives for yeah. more. Okay. So the woman is my mother because she pushes me harder and here I am making her proud. I'm sure you are. Yeah. I'm sure, very sure you are and I'm sure she's very proud of watching you give that answer. It was yeah. very beautiful. <laughs> Next question and final, Ukraine. So your question is, what's women empowerment to you? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, it's a little bit difficult <laughs> to <laughs> someone, but I think uh, for me, it's uh, Coco Chanel. It, that it's not about only clothes because she was beautiful designer, but I think the most important is this woman changed uh, a lot of women's life because uh, she, she could uh, to change, not only whether she could to change mind, she couldn't to change rules, in all worlds, I think it's the most important because uh, I think everyone need to live to live something after you. It's, so we're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, uh, it will be not empty life. It will be life with dream and life uh, for people that will be live after you. Yeah. No, Thank you. I, I, I love it and I love you, how, you, how you gave an example of like... Yeah, sorry, my English sometimes it's not good, but... It's I okay, it. it's okay. English is anyways my second language, so I also get tongue-tied, so don't yeah. worry. Thank you. <laughs> but as you can see, the girls just finished answering all your super questions. Thanks for all of those questions you guys made, they were amazing. But now we're gonna have to finish this super chat and before we leave, I have to tell you to go onto the Miss Supernational app so that you can actually vote for your favorites on not only this chat, but also on others. And who knows, maybe you can help a girl get into the top 25 because four girls will get into the top 25 in Miss Supernational on December 6th. So girls, this is it. Say bye to the guys. Bye. bye. bye.